Dairy farming is a class of agriculture for long-term production of milk. Dairy farmers work hard every day to bring you fresh, great-tasting, wholesome milk. However, in a bit to make this happen, farmers go through some challenges in this type of agriculture. And for this reason, we have our vet in this segment tackling the big questions from one Mr. Chege, a dairy farmer from Gidunguri. Welcome to Vet Talk segment with me, Alex Gedaiga at Deji Farm where I'm going to take you through the challenges being faced by the dairy farmer. With me is Mr. Chege, who is our case study. Welcome, Mr. Chege. What are the, some of the challenges? Okay, the major challenge in, in dairy farming, one, I would start with mass notice, which is very common with most of, most of the farmers. I also have experienced it. And I know without, uh, with the mastitis, if you're not well managed, if not well treated, you don't have a milking hand because it goes straight to destroying uh, the, the mammary glands and other parts of the, the animal. So now that you're here, I may have treated my, my um, I may have gone the wrong way. Can you guide us on what we should do? Uh, that is actually true. Uh, mastitis is very challenging, especially to the high-producing cows. And the problem starts right from the time of drying. Most of the farmers just wake up one morning, decide this cow has either had a uh, uh, crosstrum, and they just decide not to no milking. But that is the day the farmer has to apply what we call the dry cow therapy. And after that, steaming or trying to make the milk that the farmer wishes to produce starts from that bit. The other point is uh, doing cleaning of uh, the calf pens and especially the sleeping area. Uh, we also have uh, certain animals that are uh, more prone to getting such kind of uh, disease and in case uh, the farmer wants to do cutting, those are some of the animals that have to be removed uh, from the farm. Others have been trying to encourage us to use machines. We have others who have said that I used the machines, but due to problems that you get along the way, I withdrew the machines. What is your advice? I think uh, going by most of the very big farms, they have gone the machines way. But there is also a big challenge when you go uh, the machine making way. You need very a uh, clean attendant because uh, those machines eventually end up creating more of mastitis than it was before. Eventually you end up with a lot of teeth problems. Uh, I used the locally available I mean, materials for the purposes of having a big shed and uh, materials that I can get locally and replace in the case of anything. What's your advice? This is a method I highly appreciate because uh, it will even be encouraging for anybody who would want to come and land. It will show them that you can start from whatever materials available within the, the locality. Uh, that means even a very simple farmer will just uh, feel encouraged to start. And like when uh, you start by doing a lot of uh, sophisticated methods that carries all the money that would have otherwise been used on your hand to improve either in the breeding or feeding. So I appreciate the way it is uh, as a starting point. Maybe in future when the, the productions go high, uh, one can go to the very high methods of uh, constructions and using maybe machineries all over. But for now I think this is a an ideal way of, uh, of learning. Okay. When we come to calves, I have two experiences. I have a case of hernia, and I have, a, I have had a case of uh, calf getting sick, and uh, you get the stool has some traces of blood, a case that is very stubborn to treat. What's your advice on that? Uh, blood diarrhea uh, sometimes is found in the first uh, feces of a calf, which is uh, normal. Uh, there are times 
we have calves getting attacked by a very rare condition, uh, normally associated with the pottery, called the coccidiosis. Uh, unfortunately, uh, most of the times, uh, those taking the, doing the treatment may not really put their minds along the coccidiosis. They end up using a lot of antibiotics when they should have used the coccidiostats. Mm -hmm. Uh, that is how you find the calf continues being uh, f f getting branded diarrhea, yet treatment is still going on. So I would uh, wish that you also consider that when you have such a case, right. apply the coccidia okay. okay. There has been the theory of um, when to serve an animal so that you can get a hive or get a bull. Is that applicable? Well, that is uh, a story found <laughs> with most of the farmers. But technically, if you f a farmer wishes to have havers, because that is the wish of most of the farmers, it is that you go through the sexed semen inseminations. Otherwise, uh, about the timings of heat, that is uh, m uh, a story found with most of the farmers. Uh, the truth about it may be some such you have to be conducted to get the truth <laughs> behind that theory. Okay, thank you so much for your coming. Uh, thank you, Mr. Shegan, for taking us through the uh, challenges that you face as a farmer. I believe this is uh, what others face, and we have something uh, quite uh, comprehensive to learn from our segment today. Viewer, I hope you've learned uh, something that will add to your production in your farm. Thank you. And goodbye. Kiambu County is geared towards food security and improved livelihoods for all. We are empowering farmers in improved technologies for horticulture through greenhouse farming. We believe that this can create employment for the youth and smallholder farmers. In addition, we are expanding the fisheries industry in Kiambu through the construction of fish ponds using acceptable fish liners and monosex fingerlings. We are currently introducing aquaponics for integrated fish and crop farming. The county is committed to agriculture and bettering the lives of the people in our community.